Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? How are you guys doing today? We're going to play a little bit of Bastet. We haven't played Bastet in a hot minute, no, so I I've figured... I've never seen you in Tarabi before. In Tarabi? I don't know what that means. But uh, <clears throat> I haven't played Bastet in a while, so, you know, figured why not? Give it a shot. Fighting the Hades, that's terrifying. Uh, Where's my P.O. box? There it is. Boop. Uh, let's see. Who we fighting? Sponge's sandwich or sponge sandwich. Weird clothes. Or alternatively, sponges and witch. Could go any way, really, if you think about it. Do I go take and steal here? I'm pretty sure I do. And then I just go transcendence. I don't play a whole lot of bass step, but I think that it's probably the play. Um. I'm actually gonna go two and two because you're pretty mana hungry, right? Like as just a character in general, you're very mana hungry. So let's go this. Let's go a little bit of meditation. You can see the MMR in the top right there. He's about 2100, which is in no means bad. So very good. Um, He said no in all caps, only indicating that he probably knows who I am and is not very fond of what may or may not occur. Really happy and really mad. Yeah, okay. So, I, you know, I figured. He's not the happiest. Alright, well, we jumped his, uh, we jumped his detonate. He did go Boomba Spear, so he is going to be able to do buffs relatively quickly. But he also, once he missed his three, he jumped over the wall to get his blue buff. So, we are in ultimate vibe territory right now. Just getting the red buff. Apologies about my nose. It is very bad right now. I am not exactly sure why. The weather is getting slightly cold. Maybe maybe that's why. In fact, that probably is why, now that I think about it. Um, He won't heal the full HP off of this wave, but he will heal quite a bit, I believe. Yeah, I mean, not full, but I'm definitely not... <clears throat> definitely not nothing, you know? At least he only healed once off the wave. I'm going to see if he'll let me walk up and clear these, which it does look like he will let me. Appreciate it. I'm going to just jump over the wall here. Uh, I'm wondering if he'll invade, which he does. And it's actually perfect for me because I hit level 5 here. And with my uh, meditation, I can get the kill. So I jumped over the wall, baiting him into... Uh, <clears throat> baiting him into thinking he could seal this buff for me. And trying to get into a fight, and it actually worked out, which is really good for me. So we're going to go ahead and just get the blue buff down. We're back in, getting tier 2 transcendence. And honestly, uh, honestly, I'll go tier 1 Yotans as well, because it's a lot of power for tier 1. 15 power extra for 650 gold, not bad. Uh, no, I'm just recording today's first vid. Smiley face. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see. I don't have transcendence yet, obviously, but I do <clears throat> with red buff have enough power to clear wave pretty effectively. I'm just going to back. I mean, I, I don't get a kill here. Oh, sorry. I, uh, I muted myself for a second there because my throat, dude, everything's going weird. My nose, my throat. Take a sip of coffee. Maybe that'll help stuff out. Um, Yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to be clearing waves right now. Nothing really crazy, nothing really, uh, you know, fantastic. Nothing nothing, nothing new happening been. here. Just some generic old farming. Trying to get to that level where, uh, you know, I may be able to kill him. Because right now, that level is non-existent. I also don't have beads, so if he decides he wants to alt me, I'm pretty much just deceased. Oh, uh, that's sick. I missed literally all the minions. Unfortunate. I took all that damage to try to clear minions that I just missed. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm playing bad. Hopefully it's okay. I mean, obviously he wants to clear the wave, right? There you go. Um, he's gonna get red buff. Oh, I did actually hit the wave that time. Oh, 
All right, all right. I got the red buff. I got the red buff. I ulted. Come on, cats. Do it to me. Let's go, dude. Huge dub. Huge kill right there. I secured the red buff by uh, just using my one, jumping in, which is kind of terrifying when you think about it because of the fact, you know, I jumped into an ulting Hades, which you, you know, just as a general rule of thumb, probably shouldn't do. But I understood the fight and I understood what was going to happen. So I jumped in, I stole the red buff, and then I ulted knowing that he didn't have his uh, power spike yet. His Book of Thought finished. He just finished that this back. Well, I say back, but I killed him. Um, he just finished that after that death, so... He didn't have that power spike. His ult wasn't going to be hitting that hard. Uh, he didn't have red buff. Obviously, we were fighting for red buff, so he, he didn't have red buff. He, he wasn't really... There was nothing there that would scare me into uh, submitting that red buff, really. And I also have meditation if I need it, which is good. Always good. That should clear the wave. I have finished transcendence. Unfortunately, I did not get the... Uh, the last hit bonus on the melee minions, which sucks because that means I don't get the stacks of it, but I'll make up for it by doing the uh, XP camps and, and all the buffs along the way. Let's see where he is. I could probably fight him again right now. I don't suspect he's very scary. He does have Book of Thought finished, but no lifesteal, no defense. Uh, that is 100% a death. I am doing a ton of damage, and he has no defense. Or really no defensive stats. I mean, Boomba's dagger gives you 50 HP. Which, you know, if you want to count HP as a defensive stat, that's fine. I'll let you. But also, 50 HP is not a defensive stat. So, <laughs> you know, just remember. Uh, I am scared right now because he can ult me under tower. So I just want to run out of that kind of tower range. But I am not scared of a fight in general. If he ults me in general, I'm okay. I just don't want to get ulted under tower. That's the problem. Got a lot of damage going out on him right now. Um, I think I'm okay with this because if he jumps in, maybe he thinks he can ult me now. Now that my jump is down. I want him to think he can ult me. Because my goal is to fight, obviously. I'm saving up gold in order to get Jotuns because I want to get that cooldown online. Uh, hit most of the minions there. Couldn't hit this back one because it was a little off center, but no big deal. Um, are you going to heal? Are you going to heal? You are going to heal, which means you are no longer alive. He is going to ult me. It won't matter much. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, he, uh, he lived. Okay, I don't like that word at all, sponge. I really hate that word. Please don't use it. Um... But, that being said, go the Jotun's here. Oh, uh, go the beads. Thank you. I accept your apology. I'm glad he said sorry. I don't like that word. <clears throat> Anyways. Let's keep playing. He, uh, he, so what happened that fight was he stalled out long enough where I couldn't actually take my, um, my jump back to outside of the tower range. Can I get, I feel like I can just get this, right? Uh, yeah. I should be able to kill him here, I think. Ah, uh, no. That's okay. Oh my god, my jump actually clears minions. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting my jump to clear minions. He is so low HP. He's getting some defense online, which is pretty good for him, but I don't think it's going to be enough because he just has, he has no sustain. He has no lifesteal. And I know that's weird saying that about a Hades because um, Hades has insane sustain with his alt, or not with his alt, I'm sorry, with his three on minion waves, but... You know, it's actually not even that much. It doesn't feel like it's that much. Maybe it's because of the Tainted Steel, or maybe it's because of my level lead, or my build advantage, but it doesn't feel like his sustain is actually that crazy. Like, he just he just killed that whole wave, and really, like, honestly, barely got any health back. 
I want to fight this, so I'm going to go ahead and ult that. They will tank the tower for me and also kill. Huge kill, huge kill. Let's see. That minions are going to take the tower. I probably don't have enough HP as an auto attack or as an ability based character or in order to do bull demon at 500 HP. At least not this early, so I'm just going to go ahead and back. I'm going to get my uh, beat stick, and if you'll excuse me for a second, I got to take a sip of coffee. There it is, boys. Coffee's back. All right, let's see. Let's see. Um, We'll go take the amulet. Oh, dang. We'll go take the amulet, and that'll give me how much anti-heal? 30% anti-heal. I already have 40%. 70% anti-heal sounds like a pretty significant amount. I think that's okay. Uh, he's not building any healing, like I said. Uh, he might be able to steal this because I'm not actually sure where he is right now, but I figured um, I'm really far ahead, and if he did even show up over there, I'm pretty sure that I could punish him by killing him and then getting the Phoenix regardless, even if he did steal it. I'm going to use my three here so I, they aggro, um, so my cat aggroes the melee minions so they don't run into tower so that I can actually... Get that gold for them because gold is, you know, the ruler of the universe. And yeah, I think now that we have bull demon, I just gotta gotta kill some minions in my in my future. And there we go. And now, you know, four levels ahead, an extra item ahead. I guess maybe he just finished that item. I don't know. Um, but four levels ahead, like he just he just can't compete, honestly. I'm just too far ahead at this point. I have I have the cooldown I need. I have the damage I need. I have the anti-heal I need. Uh, you will be dead to me right here. Oh, nice shell. That shell was big. That shell was big, my man. Good shell. Let's go ahead and just uh, get over here, though. Get the blue buff. I'm not going to pick up the blue buff. I want to pick up the red buff, but I will do the blue buff. Just to, you know, so he can't take that XP and that gold off the table for him. And here we are. My pride and joy, the red buff. Red buff down. I'll clear the wave just because it's already right here. And... <clears throat> Alright, he's gonna jump over. I completely expected that. He has sh uh, shell and thorns, which means what he's gonna do... And I know this just based off how much I've played, you know, like I have the most dual matches played out of any anybody in the world, which, you know, whether that's I should be ashamed of that or proud of that. It is a fact. So um, I literally I literally speaking, I have the most experience in duel out of every, everyone in the world. But like I said, that that being said, uh, I know that if he's going shell and thorns and he's a Hades, his goal is to use both relics and then alt me when my jump is down so that I can't fight him because he gets all the protections. He uh, he receives all those protections when he's in his alt. So yeah, that's his goal. Um, I wasted a lot of time talking just now. I think honestly, I'm just going to waste a little bit more time and go crusher. I'm not nervous about him catching up or anything. Sure, he might get some tower, uh, some tower damage out, but... <laughs> It's okay. I don't mind letting me hit my tower a little bit. And yeah, now that I know his game plan, which is like I was telling you to shell and then thorns and then alt me, <clears throat> I know how to counter that game plan. And how to counter that game plan is basically don't get caught in the alt. And if you do, make sure you're not hitting him back. You know, like even if my alt is up, even if even if him and I are both alting, if his thorns is up, I'll do more damage to myself than I will to him during that alt because of how much protections he gets in his alt. So now that I've understood his strategy and I've concocted a game plan, it's time to use that game plan. And I have 70% anti-heal, so this is going to do a lot of damage to him. And that damage is going to be sticking most of the time. I'm not stepping into the um, to the Titan's like lair, his little corner right here, this this thing, because I don't actually want to reset the Titan any. So I'm just going to keep throwing minions at it and um, using my three and trying to just do a little, little something. A little, little something. Oh, clear. I'm going to jump on him to see if my game plan is right. All right. 
fault. Because I'm in the Titan room, I'm gonna do some Titan damage. Oh, that Phoenix is spawning. Nice. Um, I will kill you. Oh no. All right, well, we got his shell, but he also got my beads, you know? I wasn't as clean as I had hoped it would be. I mean, re-getting the Phoenix and not dying for it, obviously, I'd say that's pretty clean overall, but um, not getting the kill and, and even being, you know, pretty low HP afterwards is scary when you're against uh, a Hades because Hades has very good chase potential. He just lands one auto. He just lands one auto and goes at it, you know what I mean? Would you be mad at me if I went double defense? Not at all, King. Not at all. You don't have to ask me about your build, man. It's okay. <laughs> you can build whatever items you need in order to win. Sometimes I do get a little bit uh a little bit upset if I'm memeing, you know, like if I'm doing some sort of a meme and uh and the opponent, you know, builds an item to counter it. Like if I'm going full crit. King Arthur and the opponent builds Spectral Shield. Like, come on, man. Like, Crit King Arthur is not good. You don't need to counter build it. But if we're just playing a dual match, you know, like, build anything you need to build in order to win the game. No shame. No shame. I am going to probably do this. I don't know if he's going to show up. He was pretty far out there. And I am pretty terrified. Of him. I'll throw my cat that way just to make sure he's not going that way. I'll back here. Oh man, come on. I am literally three minions away from level 20 so I can upgrade that tainted steel for more for more anti-heal. There we go. That's huge. Alright, now we go, we get tainted steel. It's also gonna give me a, a defensive item because it's 80 magical protection. And um what's another good power pen item, right? Like power. Penetration. Base pen, maybe? Like. Nothing here has base pen. It's all percent pen. I guess we're just gonna go Titan's Bane. Just, we're gonna go Titan's Bane. You know, the best thing about, uh. About. I guess, you know, playing Bastet is. If you just build the hammers, like Transcendence and the hammers, is a surefire way to make sure that you kill your opponent no matter what they build. You will always do a lot of damage. The issue is survivability, obviously, because you're not going to have a lot. But in my case, Tainted Steel is uh, pretty decent survivability. Go ahead, clear the wave. Dash away. I'm going to hit the Titan. Excuse me, I burped a little bit. And I will jump out of the Titan's range. Jump here. Phoenix down again. Alright, there's the thorns. That means he wants to alt me. And so what am I going to do? Make sure that he can't alt me. Now, I'm going to kill him. Oh, close. Oh, so close. Well played, man. Well played. You played that fight really well. Good job. <laughs> I am going to go back, though. Not instantly back. You know my game plan. You know, never instantly back. Always buffs. Always buffs. If you go for the red buff, that's fine. I should be safe here. Oh, the poly auto. Nice poly auto. I for honestly, when I went in there, I I went to go juke his uh his one, which it did kind of work, but his one his one still hit me, you know. I didn't fully juke it. 700 gold, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But uh I didn't fully juke his one, which means he got the slow on me, which means he was able to secure that auto attack. I didn't think that that auto attack was going to kill me. Um, but I forgot about Polynomicon, so that's my mistake. 
That's my mistake. That red buff was definitely not worth dying over. And, um... I mean, in my defense, I didn't think I was going to die over it. But, like, that's, you know... Every fight you take, you assume you're not going to die over or something, right? That's okay, though. That's okay. We are powerful. I have a lot of pen. I got uh, full ass Titan's Bane after last fight. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty pretty good right now, actually. Not to mention, his Titan is looking a little bit weak. I could more than likely just hop in there with my alt. Like, use my 1 and my 3 and my 2 and win the game. Um, although I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Not right now. You don't scare me literally at all. I do way too much damage for you to scare me. Alright, he has 70% anti-heal on him, so he's not healing at all, pretty much. And there it is. There it is. GG, my man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bass step play-by-play. Of full, full power. I mean, you know, as full power as you can get while also make, maintaining that you win. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you did enjoy the video. And uh, until next time, guys. Peace.